What's up guys? This is First Class Airsoft here. Today I'll be doing a video of the differences and similarities between the HK45 and the USP. I know this is my, a USB compact but generally it shares all the same features as a full size or the SOCOM USP or MK23 whichever you want to call it. Alright, let's get down to it. Um, first off, HK45. Original USP compact or USP regular or full size did not have a 30 outer barrel like this uh, KWA uh, HK45. Um, second of all, HK45 features a Picatinny, a 20 millimeter, <coughs> 20 millimeter Picatinny rail, which you cannot optics, and it's standard. On USPs and other uh, versions of it, you have a proprietary rail where you have to buy an adapter in order to put flashlights, lasers, whatever you want down there. Okay. Um, another feature on HK45 that the USB doesn't have is one is the ergonomic grips right here, where your hands just uh, your fingers, you know, just fold into it, as well as adjustable back straps right here, which you push out this pin right here and you slide it off. On the, H on the USP Compact or USP Series, it's just a uh, you know standard pistol grip, standard USB pistol grip. No serrate. There are serrations here for to help with grip, but there are no ergonomic features for uh, for your hand, as well as no adjustable back strap. So it's a one size only. Um, unlike the US, unlike the HK45, where you can replace the back strap for a bigger or a smaller hand. Uh, another feature that is different between the HK uh, between the HK45 and the USB compact is that the compact only has uh, a slight release on the left side so for right hand user is fine but if you're left handed uh, you've got nothing here you have to probably use your index but on the HK45 you have ambidextra slight releases right here and on this side as well all right. uh, another feature that I saw that was different is HK45 versus the USP. The shape of the USB compact is definitely much different. It's more of a squarish kind of uh, appearance than the USP or than the HK45. I mean, sorry. See, as you can see, it's more of a flat-topped kind of. It's wider right here. It's very wide, similar to like a Glock-ish to me. But on the HK45, this is a slimmer profile. This is much skinnier than this. If you can, if I can get that right. Uh, sorry. See. And also, uh, okay. Let's. Uh, I think that's all. Oh yeah. Also, the HK45's uh, mag release. It's actually much larger. It's actually a much larger than. HK uh, USP which is this little tiny flat right here so you see a difference between the size of it which is this gigantic slide or uh, um, magazine release and it's teeny tiny magazine release um, other than that I don't really see any other differences uh, both come with uh, individual individualized uh, serial numbers which hopefully this thing can focus in on that. Hold on one second. Individual serial numbers. Okay. Okay, now for similarities. Similarly, uh, these both derive from the USB family. Um, both are licensed, a lot of licensing is from H and K from here from the front slide to this uh, let me see if I can get that to focus well there's H and K licensing right there as well as on the pistol grip oh it's on this side my bad on HK USP right there Okay, as well as uh, engraved onto the lower lower um, 
body. On the HA45, there's one right here, similar to the USB. One right here as well. One actually HK45 down here, and another HK45 down there. Uh, both feature serial numbers also on the slide, which is all unique to its own uh, each uh, model or each each one built. Uh, similar similarities is that both use a polymer frame and a metal uh, slide. Uh, both are powered by the NS2 gas system which helps gas, efi gas efficiency and others and uh, makes it more reliable as well. Both are double action pistols. Both have a working decocker. Safety is on the same side. Um, they both use the three dot combat sight as well. That's this one too. Like such. Um, both are made by KWA also. And uh, yeah, that's all I can see. That make, really makes a difference other than the size. Uh, uh, similarities and the difference is also by size. I don't have a KWA uh, USB full size to make a comparison, but um, but uh, this will do, you know. Uh, as well as oh yeah, USB compact and USB series is that uh, the USB compact is cap is compatible with its magazines with the KPA made by K KWA as well, and the K the HK45 it mags are compatible with the um, USB Max series only, so that's one thing. Um, yeah, and that's all I can see actually. Um, stick around for another review later, on, another video later on on ma maintenance and uh, cleaning your gun. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to please rate, comment, subscribe, favorite this video. Uh, it helped me a lot. Um, see you next time.